this guy here has the right business because he's very, really, he's very really passionate about what he does. Yeah, that's what gets me up in the morning. You yeah. get it on the nail. You know, he's in the business of being making people happy. That's right, man. Yeah. Because look who I get to meet. Well, you know, I, can, I, I hang that's around right. with musicians, uh, famous people. Uh, they send me to the recording studio, mm -hmm. hang out a little bit, judges. You know, and I'm just from the west side. <laughs> coast of California. There are two reasons why we're going to Santa Maria Airport today. The first reason you guys know by now is we fly for food so Santa Maria is known to be one of the best place for barbecue. It's supposed to be the best in the country. So we're gonna go out there and check out the barbecue uh, places out there and give you uh, some feedback. Now the second good reason is that my friend Ross is flying his beautiful twin engine Comanche to the paint shop for some minor touch up. So we all gonna meet there, go have lunch, you know walk around the city, it depends on the times that we have, and try some good food, you know tell you uh, about things that you can do while you are in the Santa Maria airport. Also check out the FBOs. Today we'll be parking at the uh, Jet Center at Santa Maria Airport. This will give you some feedback about the service and, and services they have. And then we're gonna fly back to Corona, all three of us, me, Ross, and my friend Mustafa. I looked up the uh, history about the Santa Maria Airport and I found out that back in, uh, during the World War II, the United States Army built that airport so uh, they can train the B-24 bombers. But then they stopped uh, doing the training at the airport uh, in 1942 and the airport was transferred into civilian and general aviation. It's been like that since. This is the bench. This is where the uh, old timers, the most experienced pilots in Corona sit. They usually sit here, talk about the good old days, places that they flew to. And then they have a, a little uh, sign thing in the back where they rank pilots, right here. They have the numbers and every landing will get a number. So if your landing is so-so, you get a four. If it's good, you'll get a 10. And if it's shitty, you get a shitty one. That's how it goes in Corona. And this sign behind me on the wall, this is dedicated to Bernie. He's one of the old timer pilot that uh, spent most of his life here at the airport. He's a very nice man. I lucky enough to get to know the guy. He passed away and then this one was dedicated. The bench was kind of dedicated to him. I go the airport, it's a pretty nice airport. If you haven't been here, please check it out. People are friendly. It looks like my uh, friend uh, Mustafa just arrived. So uh, Mustafa, can we do a little briefing? Um, I was thinking we uh, depart uh, out of Corona and runway 25, make the left downwind departure. Um, contact SoCal at 135.4. We got a VFR flight following. I just checked the weather in Santa Monica, in, in uh, Santa Maria, it's all clear. Yes, That's sir. the METAR, yeah. We were expecting the clouds to clear off by 10.30, but it looks like it's clear. Yeah. And then we'll uh, climb to 6,500. Yeah. Most likely we'll be given uh, instruction to land the straight in 3.0. Three, uh, zero. Three, zero. And then the FBO, the jet center, will be off of uh, Alpha Echo 3. Uh, yes. Uh, probably on the right hand side from the direction we're coming. Okay. Okay. So let's go fly for food, no? Let's go. <laughs> 
Santa Maria, here we come. Yep. Oh, okay, the origin of the uh, Cherokee 140. The two designers were uh, John Weck, who made who designed the air coupe, and, and uh, John Thorpe. Okay. who designed a lot of airplanes, one of them uh, the T-18. And he designed your plane too, right? The T-18, Thorpe okay. T-18, yep. So yeah. he worked on the Cherokee originally. By the way, I'm producing my uh, fellow pilot out of Corona, one of the most helpful people at, at the airport. He's always, <laughs> no seriously, he's always watching, you know, make sure everything is working, so. We try. Yep. We're gonna go to Santa Maria, you wanna come along? Uh, I think I'm done for today. Okay. My sweat glands have been overworked. You want to say bye to okay. my YouTubers? Toodaloo. So, uh, so as you know, the the airport uh, Santa Maria was basically built during the World War II, right? And then they built it because the U.S. Army built it because they wanted to train the B-24 bomber pilot. And so they did the training for up to 1942, and then at that time they decided not to, not to use it anymore. So the airport was switched to general aviation. <clears throat> they have scheduled flights out of there too. Yep. And and Santa Maria, talking to my fellow pilot on the other way, the other side of the wing, but it's supposed to be no, it's known for the best barbecue in the country. Wow. Yeah. Yep. They have a lot of F-18s and F-15s. They have Fs, a lot of Fs. Yeah. They have a lot of, uh, yeah, military. Uh, yeah. Touch a lot. and goes. I saw, yeah, the, the T-38. They, they, they do touch and goes all the day long. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get to do that. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> have fun. behind you. I'm going to do five. Go traffic. Okay, good uh, morning, Dakota 7 6 one 0 we're to 6,000. Dakota 2 Roger. Approach 1 Approach 1 Dakota 2 9 6 one 0 6500 Dakota, 2 9 6 one 0 Center of our first altitude, 51 miles to go. 23 minutes. 23. We're doing the 130 knots. Not bad. Okay, no problem. Well, we just touched down at this beautiful Santa Maria airport. We were greeted by a, a very uh, nice young man. His name is Garrett. Um, he. Uh, works here at the FBO. I think he's got work to do over there. And our friend Ross is on the other side of the airport, so we're gonna check in. Okay, so uh, for those of you who fly in, and you'll be flying into the Santa Maria, the Central Coast Jet Center has a family-owned operation. Um, very nice, we just met uh, a very nice young lady here. Uh, it's uh, located off uh, if you land on runway 30, it'll be off Echo 3. So we're walking in to check in here. And uh, and they have been awarded the AF trip points. And that's awesome. That's a very high award. And um, we are talking to... Hi, I'm Heather. Heather. Oh, Heather, that's a great name. And uh, earlier today, I called in and I talked to her younger, her brother. 
And so we came in and we just met her. And we were talking about maybe going out and uh, checking out the uh, restaurants. And you were saying? Uh, the Hitching Post One is one of our uh, most uh, okay. famous restaurants here. Okay. So it's over in Casmalia. It's okay. amazing. Would recommend. Um, okay. And then uh, we have. Any? Uh, what time are they open for lunch? Um, it looks like they open. Actually, it looks like they open at four thirty. I was just googling. That's that. too bad. The other place I called it's called the Jokos or. Jocko's? Jocko's? Yeah. They're closed. They don't open until four. Well. Um, That's too bad. How about this? The this, this second uh, those are hitch and post. Those two. Um, and are they close to there? I mean, let me look if they're open. They have they have fuel here too, guys. Uh, while while Heather is checking, <laughs> and you guys want some mint? I'll take one. Maybe get some water. Is there water over? Yes. Uh, okay. Actually, there's water in the kitchen. I can grab. One. Oh, no problem. Whenever you have a chance. Uh, so I would recommend, I know that they're open for lunch, is Rancho Napomo. Okay, we want, we want a really, I mean, That's the, the, the best, best of the best. I know about. Okay, and they're open? Yeah, yes, they are okay. open. They close okay, and I'll write it down because right now yeah, yeah, I'm focusing right on the videos. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, there, there is all the glass windows here where you can actually sit, at, um, do your planning or whatever, and then, what are these, strawberry fields over there? Yes. Organic strawberries. Orga organic? Mm -hmm. organic strawberries. Organic strawberries. Organic strawberries, yes. I'm into organic uh, oh, cool. uh, farming. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, we uh, strawberries are. I, uh, I have a, an organic orchard in the Riverside County. Oh, cool. Riverside. So um, I grow avocados. Oh, great. I yeah. grow um, olives, pomegranate, um, awesome. citrus, all different kind of fruit. Okay, so let's check that one out. Anything else? No, something sorry, to no, see no, while no. in Santa Maria? <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have too much going on around here right now. Um, okay. Yeah, Rancho Napomo is definitely a cool spot. At night they have uh, live music sometimes, okay. but for lunch they're good for, uh, for our famous barbecue. And okay. you definitely have to get tri-tip. That's what we're known the for. The tri-tip like so. Camarillo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I told yeah. you. So I told you I read about this, but you said you have additional information you'd like to add? Yeah, so, so Santa Maria Airport started as a P-38 training base um, during World War II as Hancock Field. And actually, um, so we're a family-owned business, and my grandfather was a P-38 pilot during mm -hmm. World wow. War II. Wow. Um, and he's turning 99 this year. And he's, well, yeah, congratulations. He's, he's in and out of here a lot. Um, people get to meet him, so it's, it's fun to have that history and then also the family history at the That's airport. That's great. So appreciate that. And you were recommending to go to Rancho Napomo. Rancho Napomo, yes. No, no, Napomo, okay. Yeah, they're, they're it's great. supposed to be the best barbecue and try mm -hmm. the try tip. Okay, yes. great. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice people at the FBO, Heather. Uh, very uh, cute young lady, very nice. Uh, the crew, extremely good. Garrett uh, was uh, the young guy who greeted us. Wow, I love this breeze. You're gonna be an almighty star. So here we're meeting this young man. Uh, your name, sir? Dale. Dale on Elias, uh, and he's going to give us a little history about the, the Rancho. It's Rancho de Pomo Deli? Yes, yeah. 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 He came up highly recommended by uh, Ray Hadley. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's been 15 years. 15 years. The other side was open. They just had their anniversary, and this opened up about eight years ago, I think. Okay. I'm not sure exactly on the dates like that, you know, but. Uh, That's a long yeah. time, and you guys are known for your steaks. Yeah, right here in Santa Maria. Right um, have the, they're known for tri-tips in Santa Maria, okay. and they got best tri-tip in Santa Maria last year. Okay. And their pulled pork's really good, you know, so and they did really good Mexican give food. Give us the top three dishes here for people to consider when they come in. Top three? Yes. Um, well, the ribs. The ribs? Pork, the pork the ribs? ribs, yeah. Okay. Ribs back ribs, tri-tip sandwich, um, and the Santa Maria fries. Santa Maria fries. Okay, we're gonna try all that. Yeah. And on the dessert menu, anything you recommend? Um, they don't have much in the way of desserts. They have like a flan, I think it is over oh, here. Okay. Yeah. And I saw like a burrito coming out here. Yeah, yeah, they have everything is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you can't go wrong with pretty much everything. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. 
This is my buddy Elias. Hi, how are you? We're uh, with Life for Food on YouTube, so oh, nice, we nice. do the videos wherever we go, we review the food, and it's all positive stuff. But this is a place that came up very highly recommended yeah, really by the airport food. people. Oh, and I just finished talking to your bartender, so but we're gonna try your food here. He said to try the, the fries, something else. So yeah, the centimeters. So can you tell us what would you what would you recommend? I'm sure everything is good, but. Um, the beef brisket's really good. The, the brisket? Okay. Style fries. And what the was your name? Chip. My name's Anna. Hi, <laughs> right, Anna. Yeah. I'm Elias. This is Ross. And this is Mo. Oh, nice to meet you guys. But yeah, definitely the beef brisket, the tri-tip, Santa Maria style fries. He said no pork, but the pulled pork is yeah, really I'm good. Yeah, I'm okay on the pork sandwich. Yeah, the These guys are really good. Okay. Yeah. The pulled pork sandwich. Yeah. Okay. And this is the menu. And dessert. Oh yeah, three leches. We gotta have three leches. Tres leches. Thank you so much. Look at Noah. How long? How long have you been working here? I've probably been here for about like two and a half years. Two and a half. And I like the hat. Thank you, thank you. Rancho And what's the busiest uh, time of the day or the busiest day of the week? The busiest day of the week? Wow, honestly, it's actually really busy throughout the week. Mainly okay. our weekends are most the weekends. busiest. Okay. But weekdays are a little bit slower, but we are still more busy. Thank you. Look at this. This is the pulled pork sandwich. with a dry tip. Can we see yours? Yeah, of course. Can you, what did you have? Biscuit. Can I get a little piece of that biscuit? Mm -hmm. It looks extremely good. Man. Guys, the uh, chili beans, it is probably the best chili beans I have ever had. Best chili beans I've ever yeah, had. Pork. It is this so one. good. The spices, pork, like one pack. the meat, the texture, Please the flavor full of flavor and it really uh, you know makes it very uh, tasty and successful i think it's just the way they cooked it and the amount of spices it just brought it up a little bit higher than any other chili beans i've ever had and look at the chili fries of the tri-tip mm. food here is guys is beyond beyond description the taste tell us about the taste How the really tastes delicious Guys, this is a tri-tip French fry Santa Maria style. This is a higher level than any other tri-tip ever. It's full of flavor. I mean, it's explosion of flavor. It's just so good. Is it good? Mm, the meat is not dry at all. It's tender. The flavor is so I don't know. It's delicious, it's huh? Like I've never had anything other. I mean, I think better than this. And this is just... Mustafa, what do you think? How is it? It's good? Mm -hmm. Wow. This is the best. Let me have a small piece of your... Uh, sure, sure. Can you only cover it? He's going to attack your sandwich right now. Mmm. Uh, what is it? This is the biscuit? Yeah. Okay. What about this again? No. No. Wow. How it tastes. 
How does it taste? Good? Ross? Mmm. 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 Wow. You made me taste it. Guys, it's delicious by all means. We just must try it. And look, the marble. Show me, show me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, how is it? And I, and I don't think they added any, any other spices except just the way they have it smoked mm -hmm. and the way we have it cooked. It's been probably cooking. Really good, huh? For a long time, right? I bet that for, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably a whole day. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, it's like 16 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, that's what mine. This? What is this? Tri-tip. Tri 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 wow, this is my tri-tip here. Oh, look at the bread. Look wow, the bread. wow, the bread. Try it, try it, yes. Huh, oh, what do you think? Oh. Really? Man. I haven't tried this it, excited. Wow, look world. at that. Wow, guys. You know, mm. I don't want to put anybody down, but uh, when we go to uh, have the tri tip, you know how Camarillo is supposed to have the best, the best mm -hmm. part. It's really good, too. But this one, is, it goes up to a different level. Different level. Different level. Mm. Enjoy. Mm. Hey, please turn the camera off. You want to enjoy the food. <laughs> we'll get back to you guys in a few. All right. Oh, no. Let's do the. Mmm. Oh, this one you haven't the tasted. This. Fork. All right, let's try it. Mm, I'm enjoying the fried chicken. Let me eat what's the name? Of, what's the name of it? Pulled pork. Mm. Mm. Oh wow! Wow, my God! I think the best pulled pork I've had it was in Maui, in Hawaii, and I thought that was the best pulled pork. But this pulled pork here with barbecue sauce, it actually. Gave full sport a different meaning, guys. Nice. The flavor, the barbecue sauce, the bread. I know. You know, oh. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Take a break. All right. I'll so see good. you guys in a bit. You take the food two notches to three notches higher than anybody else. Manny, honestly, with that compliment, the food's amazing. Thank you. Sir. You guys, uh, huh. you're the owner. Yeah. He's willing. He's going to be in the video. So, so the thing with the, the, the bread, okay? Yes, the bread. Yeah, people say, oh, they sell the best sandwich, that, you know, the best sandwich in the world. Yeah. Okay? Look, in order to make a sandwich, you have to have bread. Right. So this is this is a Toledo style bread. The Mexican people use it for yes. the tortas. Yes. Okay? But so for the tortas, they use different people. They use a uh, burrito, which is like a French bread, a little bit mm -hmm. tougher. Mm -hmm or a taleta, which is a little bit tender. With the taleta, you can eat the whole bread, you know. Actually, I noticed that when I saw, you know, mm -hmm. came in, I saw the bread, I said, oh, you know what, Chili I'm not going all of that bread. Chili verde, right? It's, it's like a taleta. It's amazing. So, it's important. So, so it's it, it's a, actually pork butt, pork shoulder butt, okay. uh, but we make it, we... Um, these guys can't eat, they're allergic, but I'm going to have Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Mm. Oh, how was it? How was it? I told you guys, this guy here has the right business because he is a very, he's very passionate about what he does. Yeah, that's what gets me up in the morning. Yeah. Get it on the nail. You know, he's in the business of being making people happy. That's right, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because look who I get to meet. Wow. You know, I, get, I, I hang That's around right. with musicians, uh, famous people. Uh, they send me to the recording studio, mm -hmm. hang out a little bit. Judges, you know, and I'm just from the west side. <laughs> you know, I'm just a popper. You know, how did you come up with this idea? Did you open it from uh, starting or? Uh... Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I just want to make a place uh -huh. where somebody can take a minute of their time and relax. And let the news go, let the boss go, let let the conflict go with whoever, and, and, and have some food. Because we didn't talk about politics originally. We didn't talk about difference of religion. We yeah. talked about food. That's right. I want to introduce to you guys the owner of this place. And uh, go ahead. My name's Richard. Richard Cowell, C O W E L L, Scottish right. English. Right. My, my great grandfather was from uh, Gibraltar. 
Gibraltar. Yeah. So he went down to uh, ship them from the mining company to Chihuahua, and that's where my grandfather was born. And so we moved to Santa Maria Valley in 1931. Nice. And that's when we started. You native. Yeah, and so uh, my mother is from San Luis Obispo, but her side is uh, an American native. Uh, it's just Apache. So nice. We're all mixed up, and that's what our food is. We're all mixed up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fusion. It's that's right. authentic Mexican, it's our authentic the Southern barbecue. It's who we are here in California. That's the, that's the whole ticket with San Diego Barbecue, is the red oak wood. Mm, I see, I see. The vaqueros, the cowboys in early California, California, you know, they tried to settle it, but they figured out they could run the cattle. So the cattle industry was the main reason uh, that California grew. So the cowboy, combination of Native Americans and Anglo and Spanish, they had the best horses, best training. Wow. So they run cattle. So uh -huh. the cattle business, the big rancheros, now they're cities. Santa Barbara, uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Salinas, those were the big rancheros in California. So around here, they run the cattle. So when they celebrate, they make a barbecue. So they needed good hot fire, so they went and cut down the oak trees that are here. So the red oak is what we still use today. Oh, wow. They use the red oak to do that. From where? From LA. From, yeah, three hours. Three hours from where we are, you know, in Corona and Loma Linda. It's about four hours by car. Mm -hmm. It took us about an hour by plane, hour and ten minutes. That's awesome. It's in, you have a great place I feel around like the corner. A, it's a hidden gem. We, we smoke it <laughs> in the red oak. Oh, you also smoke it, this? It, yeah, it's a, it's a Mexican marinade called mm -hmm. Mojo for real. Mm -hmm. Citrus, citrus yeah, marinade. Hot sauce too. Wow. C citrus marinade. So we marinated now. How is it? You like it? And it's, 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 it's light meat and it's so moist. It's barbecue, so it's not yeah. dry meat. It's, it's full of And then the cheese, it's the skin, crispy. Mm, mm. So, so this way that I have mine though, because we mm. cook it in the morning, and then when we order, we flash it on the charbroiler, right? What price is the year uh, It's it's the the marinade, the mojo carillo, the Mexican Which is, cheese. What does it have? And then we then we mix that up with the. Uh, uh, salt pepper seasoning okay. so we mix it up make salt a paste and, and rub it up and smoke it in the red oak mm -hmm. so, so this way it was smoked this morning the red oak so we let it rest and then when somebody orders it we finish it on the charbroiler okay but for me they know me i like these fried so instead of fish on charbroiler they put it in the fryer uh, you know, they get fried chicken. People, people they, always, nobody else does it like that you know, what, <laughs> you know what brings people together food and you know what no matter what you do if you're poor, if you're rich, you're average, middle class, you don't talk about politics, you don't talk about gender, not even sport, you just talk about food. And then while you're eating lunch, you go, what are we going to have for dinner? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we eat breakfast, we eat lunch. That's my family. And good people like yourself. Uh, a great pleasure to meet so you. Thank you. This has me been, too. I mean, See, I'm going to meet you guys. Tremendous experience. Because of food. His wife or food. He, he loves it. If you miss me, just go click on my video. Say hi. Mm. Would you bring an extra hat? I'll trade you one of these. This is just vanilla. Mm. Cheesecake frosting. <laughs> oh. What is this? Fresh leches. Fresh leches. You like it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Here you go. Show me. There. Mm. Wow. It goes right straight in. Slam dunk. Mm. And another Very slam good. dunk is coming in. There you go. There you go. Wow. You like it? Delicious? I love it. All right. I have one of my employees. She started making these pigs for us to sell. Mm. Uh -huh. And now people come just for the pig. It's just a simple uh, sugar cookie pig. So they uh, they come just for the cookies. If we don't have them, they're mad. Really? They go away upset. Well, what am I going to do? My grand my grandkids. I told them I was going to get some pig. I'm sorry, man. We sold out. <laughs> well, I don't know. They get they go away mad. So one day, uh, the the lady who makes a pig, her husband's in ag agriculture. He's a broker. Okay? Uh -huh. So he was down in El Centro. You know where El Centro is? Yeah, of course. The border, right? Yeah, the border. So he was down there and he walked into an office and he seen this a pig like this. Uh, 
this is really off oh, yeah. oh, thanks. thanks. You got it. So, so you just <laughs> thanks. Yesterday. So I'll give you a new one. Yeah. No, I'll give you a new one to take home. So he, he walks in and in El Centro and there was a pig like this sitting on the counter. And, and, he, and he, he told the guy, hey, where'd you get that pig? That pig cookie. Uh -huh. And the guy told him, hey, there's a really good barbecue place up there by Santa Maria. They have these pigs there too. You gotta go. And it was his wife who made the cookies. Oh, no way. And this was way down in El Centro. Wow. What a story. What a story. What a small word too. Get the hat. Oh, right here, man. Thank you. Thank you. This way we don't have to worry about. Something right happens, and I forgot to give you the. I'm gonna go get your hat. So this is actually I picked it up yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just started this uh, shirt, and uh, the shirt business. Sunny, everybody. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the house. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Did you guys chose to come here? Big deal. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah. You have a lot of choices to go to. You chose to come here. Good stuff. You have to be safe now. Okay? Thank you. You too. Take care. Thanks. Howdy. There's a great young guys here, Garrett and uh, Gary. Magnus. Magnus. Thank you so much for all the service. No and I hope you enjoy the. Yes, much. sir. Thanks. Fresh out the oven. Okay. So we're gonna get some gas and I'll do uh, get the everything done and yes, make sure we're ready. Ready. Okay. Let's do fly for food next time, huh? Yes, sir.